Yeah. Are you sick and tired of the building restrictions on apartments? If you are, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how to delete the windows, move them, I don't know, basically fully customize your apartment as well as get rid of these TLC objects or simply just to move them. You can even change the location of your outside door as well as put things in the lobby. I don't know, maybe you want to utilize this space for a little makeshift gym or possibly put a little lounge area just to juice it up a little bit. You're totally able to do so with the tips and tricks that I'm going to show you in this video. Literally all of these tools are going to give you the ability to create unique apartments in so many different ways. However, the only thing being upfront and honest that I'm not going to be able to do is actually change the initial outside structure of the apartment. Just to make sure we have all of our bases covered, we're going to go and enable some cheats. So the first thing you're going to do is open up your cheat box. You're going to make sure that testing cheats is on and then we're going to enable bb.move objects as well as bb.show hidden objects. One apartment restriction that totally gets under my nerves is the locked special apartment lot traits such as needs TLC. With dorsal axis unlocked lot traits mod you're able to remove them with ease. If you wanted to you could easily add in other special lot traits such as great view as well as romantic fireplace. He's even added in a couple custom lot traits such as cheap lively neighbors low deposit and quiet which ironically do nothing but this might change in the future. Do keep in mind if you add in some of these special lot traits that produce effects, you're going to need the required objects to be able to fulfill the requirements of that lot trait. That's where Knickknacks Movable Slash Buyable City Living Apartment Objects mod will come in clutch. You'll actually be able to purchase the required objects. The only downfall to this is if you decided to upload your apartment using these items to the gallery, Gallery, it's going to show up as it has CC. However, there are some added benefits to this mod that will really allow you to customize your apartment. Purchasing these objects can get a little tricky if you're using the Better Bill Buy tool by Twisted Maxi. If you're not, just follow the instructions on the page as to how you can find them. It is a breeze, but for some reason, I noticed it isn't as easy with this particular tool. So for me personally, all I need to do is go in to debug. Thankfully, uh, um, Nicknack has actually listed the object names in game. So if I'm looking for a specific asset, all I have to do is type in the name. So for instance, let's just say we're looking for a vent, the goo vent to be more specific. Um, you'll notice that I'll, I'm able to find it in the search bar. And then once I do, it's going to show up as a CC object. So say, oops, I deleted this, but oh my God, I really want it back. Or maybe, oh my God, I really want to add in a lot of these goo vents, I can totally do that as well. Of course, you always have the option of just straight up deleting any of these objects using her mod, but it won't allow you to delete windows or your door or even objects outside of your unit. But this next method totally will. For the second method, you're going to need MC Command Center installed. There's a feature in this mod that if you shift click an object, you're actually able to destroy any object of your you're choosing via debug. To enable that feature, just go on your Sims computer, hit MC Command Center, then you're going to go over to MCC settings where you will find the notification slash console slash menu settings. Then you are going to go into console command settings where you're finally going to end up in debug commands and cheats. By default, this is going to be disabled. Make sure that you enable it and restart your game. Now that you have the mods that you'll need to be able to completely delete the windows as well as your exterior door and those special objects within your apartment. Let's go ahead and get this party started. So I'm going to go and delete literally everything within my unit. Um, I'm going to delete these special objects. I'm also going to go and take care of the windows. If you wanted to keep the windows, that is completely fine. Say you only wanted to delete just this window because maybe you're going to build something here. You can totally do that or you can delete all of your windows and in a moment I'll show you guys how you can replace them with any window of your choosing. For the door, you can replace the door with any door that you want. However, um, I'm going to 
keep this door. So I'm going to leave it here until I can make a copy of it. Obviously, I would need a wall to do that. If you're feeling big sad that you can't actually change the shell of your apartment, there's this cute little technique that I found by Simlissy that will essentially give you that illusion. So all you need to do is grab your wall tool and we are going to kind of select a portion of the apartment that we would like to close off. I feel like it looks more realistic um, if you actually go closer to the uh, you know, apartment that, that is next to you. Don't worry about this. I know. Trust me. I had a moment where I kind of freaked out about it. Um, there is a way that we can fix that and I will do so in just a moment. All right. So now that you've kind of got like the general, I don't know, shape of how you want to um, kind of redo the shell of your apartment, you can now grab your square platform tool. So we're going to go and put this inside. It is a lot easier to do um, the exterior walls and then put the platform in because when you actually try to like enclose it for some reason, it fights you. It's like being on a wild bull. It's so weird. I found this technique a hell of a lot easier. So we're going to raise the platform all the way up. So now it kind of looks like it's blocked off and will look even more realistic when you're actually playing the apartment because you're not going to be able to see inside the other unit. For the interior of our block off, I'm going to go and add in a little wallpaper. It can be any wallpaper. Maybe something dark would be realistic. And then if you're kind of freaking out and you're like, oh, geez, Jen, what the heck am I going to do here? I don't know why, but once I put the wallpaper in, I'm able to come out here and fix the exterior. It is so weird, but if you have that glitch, don't worry about it. And even sometimes just like relining um, the outside of the blockage, it actually, or block off, blockage sounds like you're constipated. Um, it'll fix it too. So just play around with those two te techniques. Try to like, you know, um, put wallpaper on the interior and then also the exterior. And then you should be able to fix any blank walls that you have happening on the outside of your apartment. Because those can be, well, quite annoying. Before we replace the front door and add in our windows, we're going to need it to finalize our layout. Out. Now you can get super duper creative with these techniques and create truly one of a kind apartments. But because I am dealing with a small little studio today, I'm going to keep it, well, relatively simple. So I'm going to add in a little bathroom over here. I'm probably going to put a window in here as well, which I think would look quite nice. That means I'm going to have to move the um, kind of common area window over a little bit, which I'll show you guys how to do that as well. And then, yeah, I know, just go ahead and grab your um, wallpaper tool and for some reason, reason. I don't know why. It just fixes it. It's really bizarre to me. So now that we've kind of got our general layout in mind, I am going to go and grab like a little door here. I might just actually put the door to the bathroom. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my windows. I'm kind of feeling a little petty, a little petty. So I'm thinking what we need to do is bring out <laughs> the Moschino windows just for good measure. If you know, you know. Um, and I'm thinking I might grab the closed loft windows and place one here and maybe over here in the common area. I'm not really sure what I'm going to put um, in the bathroom just yet. Before I show you how to place the windows, these are the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a total of two mods and both of these are by Twisted Mexi. The first one is the tool mod. I know what you're thinking, Jen. No, not the tool mod. That thing looks so damn complicated and believe me, sis, I've been avoiding it like the plague. But actually, it's really simple and I'm going to show you exactly how we can um, add in some windows and really customize our apartment with it. So with that, you're also going to need to snag the Better Build Buy. I have like mixed feelings about this mod, probably because I don't know how to use it. But ultimately, it actually makes the tool mod so much better and you're able to access it and build by. Whereas just with the mod itself, you wouldn't be able to do that. After you've installed both mods, you're ready to get to work. But before we can add the windows to the walls with this spectrum snowball balls, I'm sorry, <laughs> I just had to. There's one last thing that you need it to do. So obviously, we just can't just drag 
drag our window straight to the walls. We need a little foundation for them to sit on. Also, this makes working with the tool mod a hell of a lot easier. So I want to place that Moschino window right in the middle of this wall here. So I'm going to go and lay down a three tile wall, one square away from our exterior wall. Doesn't need to be painted or anything, um, but then we're going to grab the window of our choosing and we're going to place it on this wall where we would like it to appear on that wall, if that makes sense. So next, what we need to do is we need to be able to activate this via the tool mod. All you need to do is hit shift, click and T, then your tool extension window should pop up. This is why you need the better build by mod, because otherwise you're not going to have this feature and you have to do it in a live mode. And let me tell you, that is a whole hassle hoth and a half. Like it's, it's a pain. So in order to activate the object of your choosing because this method will literally work on anything um, you just click it and then to unactivate it you re-click it make sure that when you're done moving the object you unactivate it because otherwise who knows where it's going to end up so once your object is activated you're going to head on over to your um, move module where it's going to pop up this little window and you're going to have like this little grid slash axis and i know what you're thinking what the heck am i supposed to do with this believe me i know i'm still a beginner to this so this is why it's perfect because i literally have no idea what i'm doing i'm just winking it okay so i need to figure out the distance right from this wall to that wall it's one square super duper easy um so y allows you to move your object um left to right obviously if you're this way it'd be up and down um and then x would be up and down and if you're this way it'd be left and right so you kind of just gotta you know it's definitely a little bit of a learning curve not a big deal so for this situation um if you use a negative number so say i wanted to move this one square i would use negative one to move it i think this way and then you would do um just one to move it that way so Again, that's just it just depends on where you are and it's a little bit of a learning curve. So I think for this, OK, we're going to move it on the Y axis, which we need to move it um, one square up. Right. So this hypothetically should work. No, it didn't. That's OK. So I was wrong. All I need to do is go to options and I can hit undo and then we're back where we started. I need to reactivate that window there. And then all I need to do is go and instead of um just a solid one we're gonna do negative one and that's gonna get me exactly where i want i need to unactivate this window i'm actually gonna close my tool just to make everything easier and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this wall i'm gonna delete it again just trying to keep things as simple as possible and see look at that you've got your own custom window all right so let's do it over here too as well um i'm gonna grab the exact same closed loft window i'm gonna try to get this like even as possible and then i'm literally gonna do oops, i'm sorry i'm literally gonna do the exact same thing so you're gonna hit shift click t tool extension then you're gonna um hit move you can activate it before or after it doesn't really matter but i like to do it typically before and then now we got to figure out why i don't have an access that's a little annoying um my suggestion activate the object before so you can see the grid and then if you're not seeing the grid it's because you activated the object after you hit the move selection see it's all about learning um but then now we know that to go left or right it's on the x-axis and then y is up and down all right cool so i still don't know if i'm doing this right but we're gonna hit one zero just to see if this works and woohoo i got it on the first try i'm proud of myself and you'll be able to like keep those numbers in mind as well um when you're working on the rest of the windows of the apartment so now that we've got that and i've gone ahead and unactivated it I'm going to I'm going to delete it. Right. So maybe um, I wanted to add in a little a little, uh, you know, window to the bathroom. So I'm going to leave my tool extension open. I mean, it doesn't matter if you close it or you leave it open. It's just kind of up to you. But, um, you know, I don't want anything bad to happen. So sometimes I just like to close it. And now you see, because I was going to. Yep. You got to close it. <laughs> I was going to um, use my dropper tool to be able to pull this pull this uh, 
what you call it, light over, but because I had the tool mod on, it just activated that light instead. For our bathroom, what window do I wanna use? I don't know, we're gonna filter this out by color so that I can get a better idea. And then I actually think there is a window in here that I kind of like. The window of fortune is has kind of a rather big border, but I do rather like the double sunrise window. What I need to do, before I can use that is actually grab a wall. We're gonna go ahead and close it off um, there. And then we are gonna go back, grab our window. Um, I'm gonna again use the same one that I showed you guys earlier. Place it to kind of where I want it. I don't want it like super close to the top cause that's gonna look a little bizarre. Um, but I like where that's placed, right? So then we're gonna pull up our tool mod. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let go of that other window that I somehow got a hold of there. And then we're gonna activate the window that we're gonna use. And I remember from earlier <laughs> um, the uh, combination to move that window over. So all I need to do is do uh, one comma zero and that should get me exactly where I want. Now, if you are a little bamboozled by the closeness of this window, or if this happens to you where you have an asset outside the apartment that's just a little too close, you can move it if you want. Um, but first, let me just go and very briefly delete the wall here. And I really love how this is turning out so far. This is seriously so cool. It feels like a completely different apartment, at least to me. Um, okay, and so to move the window outside, right? And this is gonna go for any object that you have outside your unit. You can literally do this for anything. Um, I'll show you how to do it, but like, yeah, you can do it for anything. So we're gonna go and click, shift click T, pull up our tool extension. We're gonna activate this window. Um, <laughs> we're gonna get a, we can get a little, a little tricky with it because as you guys can see, if I move it a full square, right, it's gonna be over here. So I can't really do that. I need to move it in increments. Now you can move it in increments using this, I think, um, but that, 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 that just confuses the hell out of me. So all I need to do is just hover my mouse in the direction where I want to pull my object. But in order to actually pull the object, you're going to need it to hit the alt button button and then click your mouse and it'll start kind of pulling in the general direction of where you want it to go. If you click further away from your object, it'll do it in bigger increments. And if you get closer to your object, it'll do it in smaller increments. So that's just kind of how like a quick little tutorial of how you can um, kind of center your uh, objects. So there you go. I mean, it's not like perfect, but if I wanted to make it perfect, I could. Um, and this actually still allows for my Sims to get to the trash chute. So now I need to disable my object. We're going to get out of the tool mod and voila, that definitely looks a hell of a lot better. I like it a lot. Now, if you want to move the door, um, the same thing kind of applies. We're going to actually clone this door, put it here for good measure. And then I'm going to go back in to buy mode. I'm going to delete this door. So we're going to destroy that object. Um, I'm going to probably put the door. I don't know if I want to put it like right here. This is like not a build tutorial, but you know what I'm saying? So I think I actually need to move these bad boys over. So we're going to go back into buy mode. I know this can get a little, a little tedious. Uh, we're going to hit shift T. And then we're going to activate the object that we want to move. So I'm going to move this bad boy and then I'm going to hit move, right? So I need to get this uh, one, two and three squares over on the X axis. I can't. OK, this is going to be negative because earlier it was positive, right? Because when we moved it over one, it was one, not negative. So I'm going to guess negative three uh, comma zero. And did I guess right? Ooh! Your girl did it and then deactivate the object and voila. Okay, so <laughs> exit out of your tool mod and then we're going to come over and we're going to put um, the, I guess, uh, what you might call it. Hold on a second. Let me just move this damn door over. Oh, I don't know if that's going to work. Okay, we're going to put the wall where we want the door. So I'm going to put it like right here. Um, granted, it could be, I guess, a little over, but you get the general idea of how this works. Then we're gonna pull up the tool extension again. We're gonna activate her, and then um, we're gonna hit move. And then now this time, we're actually on the Y um, axis. So I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to do this. I really don't, I'm just being honest. So 
Um, my guess is we're negative. We're negative Y. So we're going to do one space. Let's see if it works. Wrong. Okay. So all I got to do is go to options, undo. And now we know that it's not negative. It's positive. So it'll make it easier for us. And that's why I like to kind of keep things, you know, one square away. It just makes life a lot easier. And voila. You're probably feeling a little suspicious in whether or not that this actually works. So we're going to have our sim over here, Dan, whom I've been using literally in every video because I'm quite honestly obsessed with him, uh, demonstrate that it does indeed work. Also, so I know I went ahead and uh, furnished our studio just so that you guys could get the full effect of how big of a difference these methods make. Like it honestly feels like a completely brand new unit. I am honestly so giddy and so excited for you guys to try these techniques out because you're going to create some killer apartments. I can already feel it. So we're going to have Dan come over and he's going to just show you guys that um, there is no obstruction. Now, if you were to upload this apartment to the gallery, um, I think everything would be fine except for all of the adjustments that you made to the exterior shell. If you downloaded my creation, you'd probably have to put these items in yourself. I'm not really sure what would happen, but I know for like in-game content, you creating it for yourself you should have no issue if by any given moment you try to put something on the walls and it says like you can't or there's some sort of like objection just make sure that you have move objects enabled and you should literally oh my god dan <laughs> she's so happy he's celebrating my dancing on the counters you should have no issue um but in the event that you do have a problem of any sort just let me know in the comments down below i'll do my best to answer your question now homeboy's over here dancing in the mirror with a mask on like he is literally living his best life in his brand new studio apartment the last and final thing that i want to show you guys is how you can actually put objects in your common space you can literally put anything you want you could put a little gym out here you could maybe create Create like a little study with the computer anything that your heart desires you could probably put out here just make sure that whatever objects you put in the common area don't obstruct the ones that are necessary like the mailbox the trash chute or even this little community board because I don't know what would happen if you did also I'm not sure that using an existing resident to place these items is beneficial at all I'd probably just do this in build mode when the apartment uh, is unowned just so that sim doesn't you know have ownership over the item because again i don't know what bad could happen but in terms of setting up your items i've gone ahead and kind of created a little seating area and what i did is i selected the items and i drug them out here just to see if they would even fit and then i put them back in my apartment um, on the exact same row that they I guess existed on in the common area and I did that basically for everything just to make sure that it was all nicely aligned and you know all that jazz um, so how to get it out here again you're gonna go back to your tool mod by clicking shift T which activates the tool extension and then you are going to click the item of your choosing one time until it turns green to activate it then you're gonna select and move and the guessing games begin so I believe we're about like four squares out on the Y axis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit zero uh, comma three and it could be a negative. It could be positive. And I actually think we're four squares. So we'll see what happens. Got it on the first time. See, it's actually not that hard to learn at all. So now that we've got our couch, we are going to go for our plant next, which again, I'm going to go and move zero comma four and that should bring it right to where I want it. Make sure that you click the object again to, to unactivate it. And then you're going to hit the chair or, you know, whatever you want to place next. And then you're going to go and select um, for this one. I would probably do zero comma five. I think that should be sufficient enough. Oh, that's just a little, a little too far. So then what I'm going to do is go zero comma minus one. 
that actually might be too close. No, it's perfect. Awesome. All right. So now I've gone ahead and deselected my chair. Um, and we're going to uh, disable the tool extension by hitting uh, shift T again. And then there we go. I wonder if my sim can actually, <gasps> Woo! my sim can actually sit out here. This is awesome. Oh my God. And you could put like a painting or maybe even like a cute little, um, a cute little rug. Or if you're, you're feeling really generous, you could probably put like a TV or something out here too as well. And you can really decorate these common areas, but it's all up to you and how you want to play. Well, you guys, I think that's pretty much it for this apartment tutorial. I'm very curious to know in the comments down below, do you or will you use any of these techniques that I mentioned in this video? If you guys need a list to the uh, cheats that I enabled or even the mods that I used, feel free to go on my website at xurbansimsx.com. Com. I'll go ahead and provide a link in the description and everything that you need to know will be there. So with that said, I hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, read, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.